Oh, wait a second. Yeah, all right, everybody, welcome to a not so windy showcase with the Birdman. This right here is Mega Man X Dive Offline. Now, you know, when it comes to the Mega Man games, especially the .exe series, you're thinking, is that like some sort of, like, you know, fancy subtitle for the game? No. As a matter of fact, it's because this game here, I wasn't even aware it existed, but it used to be mobile only, as in one of them gotcha games. However, if you don't follow gotcha, such as I don't, you would have missed out on a fairly decent remix version of the Mega Man X series because, well, this game remixes a ton of the Mega Man X series levels and gives you an entire huge cast of characters from every single series. Mega Man Regular, Mega Man X, Mega Man.exe, Mega Man... whatever is out there. You have a slew of characters actually used here with this uh, game series, but of course, because it was gotcha oriented, you know, you either get that to grind forever or, you know, pay up the big bucks. Well, offline is a one time purchase with everything available in the game, all the events, everything that was ever in the gotcha, free as part of the game itself. You just have to basically unlock with some progress, but other than that, apparently it's a full blown Mega Man X remix game, which I love because, let's be honest here, Capcom doesn't really pay too much attention to Mega Man these days, so this is the closest thing apparently we'll get. I was just playing Mega Man X like I always do. Listen to this, boomer. <laughs> That's me right there, living in the, the past. My nostalgia, my Mega Man X. The screen got all weird, I feel light as a feather too. Are you asking if we're about to get isekai into a Mega Man world? Yes, we're about to get isekai into the Mega Man world. <laughs> What a story, Mark. Hello, overexcited Japanese girl. A me stay calm, won't you stay calm? Are you like a gender bend version of like Mega Man? All right, everybody, we're going to jump forward here now. I just wanted to show you the introduction so you have an idea what the story behind this game is. Other than apparently you're getting isekai into a digital Mega Man world where things are being corrupted, gamers' memories, yada, yada, yada. Then you have you go through a tutorial, which I'll skip for the purpose of this video. I have this save file here, which is starting off fresh just to do a couple of stages. And then we're going to jump over to my other save where I'm playing in my own time. I got my boy unlocked and I want to play as my boy. Who's my boy, you're asking? Oh, they even got the whistle. Now, these will be like small, fragmented levels, and then usually the last one will be the actual boss. Otherwise, this plays like a sort of Mega Man game. We have a bunch of different skills. I wish that UI was smaller, or like in the corner tucked away. I'm not sure there's a setting for that. I should probably look into it. We could have our dashes. We have our double jump right off the bat, too. We could also switch over to Sword Boy. Be very useful as we have our boy Zero here as well, but uh, bam, bam, bam. A lot of these enemies love to dive at you from off top of the stage. Very annoying if you're like me and you're trying to avoid damage altogether and suddenly out of nowhere you get surprised and you're like, oh, come on, dog. Didn't even see that one coming. Now, in case you're wondering, how do you charge up your attack as you normally do it? Here, you hit left button and then you unleash. Now, L2 or left trigger, I guess is going to be these skills you could basically equip per character basis. But for X here, we have homing missiles, which are actually very good against some bosses and enemy types coming forward. And once you use them, you have to wait for them to cool down. These down here, I have no idea what these, what these things are. Can you tell me about them? No, you just tell me to collect them? Cool. <laughs> you sound very excited. It's an item that was hidden before. There's a couple of these per level. I just don't know what they unlock. If I discover any, I'll guide you to them. Okay, cool. Can you tell me what they are? No. Just get them. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. Up, 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 up. Don't think so, my friend. Rock em, rock em, rock em. So right now you're thinking, obviously, Mega Man X1, correct? Absolutely. Oh, that guy got me with the spikes. 
Get out of here. I mean, theoretically speaking, we've already lost our perfect run. Now, all these stages usually have, like, set uh, conditions to meet. We're kind of like in, uh, I guess, a lot of gacha games, like, essentially, you could one-star, two-star, three-star levels. And you could then use those stars to unlock things normally. Makes them really difficult once you pay up. Here, because it's offline, everything is very fair so far to my limited experience. But here, we should get everything completed. And we have leveled up overall. Very good. But we got everything there. Now, when you're playing this in normal, you gotta go through the entire world in normal first before you could actually do challenge. Challenge is when it actually feels difficult, where it feels like you're actually gonna get, well, challenged. And normal, you normally don't ever really have, at least early on, you normally never have something that's like very too difficult to overcome. Challenge where it feels like your enemies do a lot more damage and everything, so keep that in mind if you feel like this is too easy early on. Believe me, I felt the same way. Make sure I'm charging up my boy a bit more often, though. Like, you see, these guys are going down with, like, two hits when you're in challenge, and it takes a couple more hits for them, and if they hit you, it's, like, you know, one-fourth of your HP or something, so... That's when you really feel like you gotta be, like, okay, a lot more in your game. Thankfully, the game does kind of give you... heals in challenge mode, whereas in normal mode, I don't feel like you get any heals. The game's, like, even knows it's easy enough, it's kind of like, yeah, you don't need heals for this, dude. If you need heals for this, you probably shouldn't be playing at this point. How about just uh, running into that missile yourself? Yes, that's a good idea as well. But you saw how we took that missile and it was so limited damage. In challenge mode, that would not be the case. Ah! Any damage left and right? What I mentioned about charging more often? Yes. I do feel awkward using left button to, like, you know, have, like, a charge passively. It, it just feels easy. Like, it feels easy to just have that, but I'm normally so used to holding down the shoot button as I'm progressing to the level and just letting go whenever I feel like I need to actually blat. So it feels weird just having a dedicated charge-up thing for it. That's the world we live in, apparently. So, uh, difficult, huh? Yeah, I know. Wall kick? Absolutely, I do. And we're out of here. And here we go. Alright, fellas, it's time for a little bit of Proto Man. I have the regular Buster, because I've been I've actually been boosting that one up, so his attack power with that is fairly high in comparison to everything else we do have. Um, let's see. Saber's up to an aid. Was using the military buster, but the mega buster, just because of the rank availability, was able to out damage that. Plus, it has like a bigger clip, which with the other one, you have to kind of have to reload a bit more often. So, let's just go into a stage here. For instance, a boss fight. Alright, and here's my boy. So, with him, he's got the buster shot as well, charge up. It's not as strong as X's, however, is what I felt like. And he also, he's more defensive oriented. He's got a shield to just block incoming damage, whereas with X, we got the homing missile. So again, every character has like different sets of abilities you could actually use. And you could also unlock different ones. So I would probably switch the shield eventually down the line. I know it's very Proto Man ish, but I am more of an offensive minded character. But at least early on, when you first unlock him, that's his basic loadout right there. Ah, hello, Mao. Mal the Giant. It's a huge mechanoloid and bigger than buildings. Besides head and arms, it's covered with hypermetal that won't cause any damage. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> you won't cause damage to me? That sounds great. It can crushing everything easily with spike steel balls. Sega? I have a feeling the grammar for this isn't really quite right. Let's <laughs> call it a hunch. Okay, so keep in mind this is going to be the challenge version of Mal, which is kind of like how the game would be intended to be difficulty-wise if you're playing an actual Mega Man X game. Here he's got a ton of HP. The big difference here is that I did the first time beat him in challenge with X, who is a lot more offensive-oriented than Proto Man is. A lot more regular damage, and we had the missiles as well. Which here we have this shield, which... I mean, I'm gonna block anything really, to be honest with you, so... And I do less damage in general. Same with my Buster shot like that, it's a lot less damaging than 
X was. The other thing I'm not too crazy about, too, is that the game warns you where the swipe's coming from. So I'm not sure that's only because it's the first boss, but, like, I feel like... Oh, he actually met me with that one? Wow. I feel like it's kind of like a handy against the boss, you know, for you to know where the attack's coming from. Like, you know, sorry to sound like a boomer, but, you know, you, you learned this the hard way. It's how it was for me, you know, just, just muscle memory up. It's a little bit salty, Kami, at the end of that jump, though. We'll set up. He's got two more bars to go. I'm so salty. I'm so salty, because I think I could have perfected this dude. And he somehow nipped me at the end of that jump. I guess I just mistimed it in general. Oh, well, I guess I can't be too salty now because I took a second bit of damage, so... Ah, uh, two hits. Uh, you know, the first one... Not really too crazy about the second one. That was on me, I just slipped too late. But that still should be all three stars, because I believe you have to beat it with uh, over 30% HP to get one of the stars. Although I already got it with the X run it off camera. It just takes longer with Proto Man because he has lower attack output. Which I guess you could kind of negate as long as you get the equipment he has equipped on him. Just boost it up. But, you know. I'm more of a skin type of guy. I prefer to have like a cool looking skin such as Proto Man and just have something that's just overpowerful, you know? So, alright, that's done. Let's go over to the next world over, which I haven't completed that just yet. And let's just go into some new stages that I haven't done. Oh, that's actually unlocking... Is that Axel? Yes. Proto, you're not supposed to have this early unless you basically take all the rewards the game gives you in terms of coins and buy the memories for him. I'm not sure if you get... I'm pretty sure you get Proto Man memories later. But the first thing I did with that, I started seeing coins and I was like, oh, you get unlocked Proto Man? Oh, right, let me just go ahead and use all of my coins. Forget upgrades. Buy the Proto Man up, um, memories to unlock them. This here is a normal level. And as you can see, we're basically rocking every enemy with only one hit. So in challenge mode, it should be a lot more difficult. The one thing we should do is also compare... Hmm. Compare... <laughs> Okay, there we go. There we go. Oof. Oh, that took longer than I would have liked, to be honest, which I'm not sure we're going to get the uh, medium bottom of this cave. There's something strange going on. I'm not sure we're going to get the timing bonus for this one now because I took so long trying to get that purple ore. Oh. What are you? Do you want to mess with me? Was that the irregular data just talking now? Oh, that might have been caused by a buck too. What's going on around here? Well, luckily for us... Oh, Axel's here. No wonder we're getting Axel memories. Not bad, eh? Oh, go ahead, you take it. Japanese voice acting. Oh, I guess you're not speaking. They're just dropping one-liners on us. Exactly, this is no ordinary error. Let's cut the chit-chat. It's not just game data. Even the player's precious memories are being overridden. Like the irregular data that showed up before. If this keeps going on, even if you blow the cartridge or turn over the consoles like you used to, blow on the cartridge, which was supposed to be bad. You know, I always blow my cartridge, so I don't think it was ever bad. Or hit the reset button while holding down the power button, it won't help. I'm sure you understand how serious this is. Starting now, you can control me as a hunter program. Let's restore the world to how it was. And unlock him. Oh. Cool guy, Shadow the Hedgehog guns. We all know how that works out with these characters, huh? How about this? Let's do mission 2-5 with, uh... I don't like Axel. Let's just do it with Palette instead. And then I'll do the boss side with Proto Man, my boy. Just to kind of switch it up a little bit here. So... Keep the same gear that we do have, because at least that's powered up. Your skills, I don't even know what you have. What do you bring to the table? Oh, yo! She got like a crazy shotgun blast, huh? It does make her stumble momentarily, so we gotta keep that in mind. And then she has like an instant strike, so no buster charge of like the boys. Does this actually track, I wonder? 
Well, I guess it doesn't really track, but if it's locked onto the enemy, it's gonna go over there. Okay. I like the shotgun blast. This thing's really good for crowd control. But I'm not crazy about the stumble afterwards. Oh. Oh. Easy there, big fella. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to catch me slipping there, All right? I see. Was this purple orb there immediately when it jumped down, or did I destroy something to get it? Because it feels like it wasn't really too uh, secretly hidden otherwise. I was too. My eyes were locked on on the guy running back and forth that I really didn't pinch into that corner. Down. One more of them. Yeah, I could see this being a bit more um, difficult in challenge mode right now. <laughs> Everything going out in one hit, as I've mentioned. You definitely want to stick to the challenge. Oh, difficulty out. Once you do unlock it. But to be honest with you, I'd kind of be. I'd like it if you could use Ghost Challenge from the start. And then what you would do is that basically by doing the challenge stage, you basically get credit for normal and challenge in one go. But I guess because this is originally a gacha game, like, you know, it's all about repetition. And that's it. Okay, let's switch over to Proto Man and we'll do the last uh, mission for the stage and that'll be a boss fight and then we'll wrap up. Something has appeared. Huge irregular data. Of course I can take it. Not only am I Proto Man, but it's also normal difficulty, so... <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem whatsoever, to be honest with you. But I guess this should be a very good um, indication to what I meant about the HP being so low if you're doing this here in normal. As opposed to in challenge mode where Mao had like an inflated HP bar. Mega Scorpio from X7. Just like you, we have lives too. Just as you've always thought. Come on. A battle to the dead. As you've always thought, that medium-sized regular data just now, too, what are they talking about? This regular data is enormously powerful, please be careful. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. What we want to do for this one is... Oh, wow. Just hang on the wall. Yeah, let him do his thing and then you go over, gotcha. Matter of fact, just stick to the walls. Look, look at his HP. <laughs> just look at his HP. Oh, he still hit me after he was dead? Come on. That's what I meant about the normal thing is being way too easy. Oh, wait a second. Who stage boss or what? Is he stepping on me? So foolish, you think you can defeat me? How can Michael Scorpio talk? Seems like I've heard that before somewhere. Oh, <laughs> Zero? You, you're. Ah, huh. oh, you're gonna meet your doom here. I'm gonna repair this error. I don't understand this color palette. How vile, ah? Huh? Unlike the enemy vile. We'll wait and see. Oh, just pop them. I don't understand this color palette, it's tripping me out. Hey, you're okay, right? Of course I'm okay, I'm Proto Man. As a matter of fact, I'm... Um, isn't Proto Man supposed to be like X, um, Zero's prototype? Huh? Zero? But the color seems different. Is it because of a program fault? Thank you for saving me. Zero? Ha! <laughs> 
Oh, the pose might be that way, but I am not Zero. My personality is totally different to him, isn't it? I used to be the administrators of the dip Deep Log, but now my appearance in this world is also some kind of program fault. When the fault occurred, occurred I appeared as Zero. Uh, she must be Rico then. You've been relying on her guidance too much. Leave it to me. I'll lend a hand. We need to return this Deep Lock world of data and all those memories to how they originally were. We need to do a full backup first. How about this? I'll give you some new weapon data. Rico, after you get back, please help the player analyze it. Alright everybody, that right there is going to do it for a little coverage on Mega Man X Dive Offline. To be honest with you, I enjoy everything about it. I like the slow nature of that you're still going to have to kind of go through a couple of stages to get more coin to unlock stuff, but at the very least it's not going to be as grindy as a gacha, nor as, you know, a little bit predatory where you have to essentially keep feeding him more money if you want to take a shortcut. Everything is just literally available now in this game without necessarily having to blow your entire bank account on trying to unlock a particular character. As I mentioned, I wanted Proto Man initially from the start. All I did was the coins that I was getting from stages. I went into the store and I dropped, I think it was like, you know, 5k per card and I think it cost me like 40. So essentially all the coins I was getting from my stages, I just put them into Proto Man and I unlocked them that way. So not a bad deal, I would say, especially if you're looking for a Mega Man X game or a Mega Man game in general. And, you know, Capcom doesn't really release those too often nowadays. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.